Hello YouTube, meet with me again. It's been a long time since my last video. You know, uh, I've been busy working, and I'm actually don't have enough resource to doing some kind of tutorial video again. And today, I'm gonna show you how to use your Zenfone smartphone as pointing device use remote link so let's get into it first of all you need to make sure that you have bluetooth device installed on your system after that you need to change the setting of the bluetooth so your bluetooth device in your computer or a laptop is discoverable by another device to doing that you need to go to control panel and then in the search box you just simply type bluetooth On the search result, click on change Bluetooth setting. I'm doing this on a Windows 10 machine, so if you're running lower version of Windows, you might get a um, different result, but I think uh, overall it was the same. What you need to do is change your Bluetooth setting um to discoverable by another device in a bluetooth setting windows you will see the tab right there option comports and hardware you just focus on options in the option you will see a checkbox called allow bluetooth device to find this pc by default this checkbox is unchecked what you need to do is check this option and simply click apply or ok the next step is pairing your um, laptop or your computer with your Zenbone smartphone of course with um, bluetooth in some environment, to add a Bluetooth device, you could go to minimize um, Bluetooth application and the uh, bottom right, you could find Bluetooth icon right there. You could just simply right click on it and then click on add a Bluetooth device. In the Windows 10, you will be directed to setting windows. If you are using Windows 7 or Windows 8 or 8.1, this window may not appear. But I do believe you will get a new window to add a Bluetooth device on that. If you don't have Bluetooth icon on your minimize um, application, it means that probably you have not turned your Bluetooth device on. I suggest go to the control panel and then turn the bluetooth on in windows 10 if you want to get settings window just go to start menu and press settings or you could use shortcut you just simply press windows and i back to the bluetooth case to find Bluetooth option, it's the same step like in the control panel. In the right top corner, you will get search button, I mean search box right there. You could type Bluetooth on there. In the search result, click on Bluetooth settings. So you will get manage Bluetooth device display like the first 
step. Right here, you will see a Bluetooth button. The function is to turn the Bluetooth on or off. In lower section, you will see also paired device. If you paired a smartphone or whatever Bluetooth device before, it will be leased right there. In my case, I've done pairing device before. So I do believe you could see um, one device listed there. But now I will try to pair another device. Right now, I'm turning my Nokia Lumia Bluetooth on. You could see there. It was least, but it's right on that. This device is not paired yet. It's a ready to pair. So when the first time you're doing this step, your device will exactly list like that. When you've seen your device, click on that and simply click pair. It will not take a long time in your windows, but passcode will appear both on your PC and your smartphone. Just make sure the both code is the same. In case the code is not the same, it probably another device trying to pair to your device. I suggest press no button. But if you got the same exactly code both on your PC and on your smartphone click on yes then Windows will pair your device now you've done setting up your Bluetooth device the next step is Downloading Asus Remote Link software is for your PC, not for your smartphone. Like you've seen on my screen, I'm on the page where I can download the software. In this page also, you could see that there is some kind of um, tutorial about how to installing this Asus Remote Link software. And if scroll down to the bottom of the page, you will also see how to configure, how to set up a remote link. I will provide you um, a download link in the description below. But if you just want to search it on the Google, you could use keyword like um, Asus Remote Link Download or whatever you like. Okay, next. I've been downloading the software before I will show you this is the file if this on archiving file you could extract it first or if it's in the exe file you could just run it you could do both run as administrator or you could do just double click on it or right click and open but if you realize there's some kind of blink in my screen that was because um, suddenly user account control is appear when I run it as administrator but I allow it if there's nothing wrong uh, the installation process will proceed I've done the installation before so I'll just click cancel on this um, installation and we'll see on the start menu I think the previous installation was deleting my um, previous installation so I think I just need to install it again okay so I will show you how to install the software you can see the process on the screen right there
if you finish your installation you have to restart your computer or your laptop to make sure the installation done so when you press no you just can't use the remote link So right now, I have to restart my computer and I will continue the tutorial after restarting. So after restarting my computer and I think it's good to proceed to the next step. It's automatically start when your computer first boot. So you don't have to um, open it, it's automatically run. Okay, you don't need to check anything. If you don't believe me, you just check on the Asus Remote link on the start menu. Okay, um, for the next step, you need to open up your smartphone on your menu. I'm sure you have remote link right there. If you don't have it yet, you could just download it from Google Play okay so I'll try to open up the remote link when it's open it gives you two options whether if you want to connect via Bluetooth or via Wi-Fi but in this tutorial I will use Bluetooth so choose on the Bluetooth radio button and then you click on search device after you click the search device your smartphone will list um, near device that turn the bluetooth on you could also in my screen um, there's one device right there it is exactly my laptop right there so I will just choose that device and the connecting screen will appear it will not take a long time to connect but when um, you've done connecting you will get what is it balloon tips could I say you will get balloon tips on the right side saying that remote link say hi to your device when you see on my screen it's actually not doing by my mouse but it is doing by my smartphone my asus exactly i want to show you my um zenfone screen recording but unfortunately i can't get proper software to record my zenfone screen because i'm not rooting my zenfone yet so i just can't use screen recording but I'll give you a screenshot. I hope it's okay for you. Um, and the last thing, when you've done um, using remote link, you just simply push back button on your Zen phone and it will ask you whether if you want to exit to the mainstream if you press ok then your um, remoting session will be over and on your uh, laptop or on your windows you will get um, balloon tips again saying goodbye to your zen phone so basically that was um, the step i hope my explanation is clear if an outage yeah everybody saying that my uh, English was not good but I hope um, it will give you something uh, it will help you but if you don't like it um, I'm sorry from the deepest of my heart okay 
I'm just trying to uh, doing the thing I can. Okay, um, I think it's enough for um, today's tutorial. Uh, hope you enjoy it. Hope you could subscribe. And I'll see you later on my next tutorial. See ya.